Hey guys, Britt here. I just saw Live at the Party. So Live at the Party stars Melissa McCarthy and uh, Matt Walsh, Julie Bowen, uh, whatever, the love it, Trish from Happy Gilmore, and um, also Debbie Ryan and Luke Benward, you know, the kid from How to Eat Fried Worms and Mostly Ghostly who let the ghost out. That's the only two movies I know him from right now, or that comes in the top of my head. But uh, so yeah, Luke Benward. He's older now. He's no longer a kid. Um, I think I was looking up the cast before I saw the movie. By the way, I saw a screening last week. I've just been lazy. Um, but I was like looking up the cast, and I and I was like, all right, cool. It says a good cast. Luke Benward. I haven't heard him in years. And I like click on his, click on his name. Like, oh wow, he looks different. Um, yeah, not gonna get into that. But yeah, so life at the party. Fuck. Star. Uh, is about Melissa McCarthy. Uh, her husband divorces her, and now she wants to go back to college. And. uh yeah, she goes back to her college and she um, goes to the college that her daughter is staying at or is attending. And she pretty much parties with her friends and with her um, daughter's friends. And the daughter is accepting of it. Yeah. Um, so I guess you have to stretch your, uh, your uh, believability a little bit. Uh, I know if my mom were to go to college with my sister, my sister would... Not like it one bit, but I guess different folks, different strokes. Um, and uh, yeah, this was a really funny movie. This this movie surprised me because uh, I'm not a huge fan of Ben Falcon as a director. Uh, Tammy was terrible. I it, it wasn't even a comedy. They labeled it as a comedy, but it wasn't a comedy. The boss was okay. It wasn't a good comedy, but it's a lot better than Tammy. And then I guess Ben Vulcan fa um, finally made at least a watchable movie. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think this is one of Mr. Carsey's best performances, in my opinion. I really enjoyed her character in this movie. Uh, there's just something about her character. She was seemed like very down to earth. Like I kind of, like I'd, I'd hang out with Melissa McCarthy's character in this movie. Um, and there's like there's also this really good message at the uh, that happens towards the end of the movie. It's a cliched message, but still a really good mes message to be learned. Um, about like I forgot what it was. Sorry, I I'm sick. It's fucking me up right now. But yeah. Uh, um, people hate Melissa McCarthy for Ghostbusters and Tammy. Um, I don't have issues with Melissa, Mc Melissa McCarthy. She's still funny to me. Um, although she wasn't really given much with Ghostbusters. I thought Ghostbusters was okay at best. Like, I didn't, I didn't hate it as much as other people did. Um, uh, same with the boss. The boss was okay. Um. I really enjoyed Spy. I really enjoyed The Heat. And this is yet another funny comedy, in my opinion, from Melissa McCarthy. I'm going to give Life at a Party 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, this movie was surprising. I saw the friend, my, and my friend, who's really not a big Melissa McCarthy fan after Ghostbusters, really enjoyed this movie. I mean, he didn't enjoy it, but he enjoyed it a lot more than he expected he would. So just surprising because he, he kept complaining about this movie before we walked into the screen he's like oh this movie I'm not gonna like this movie Mr. McCarthy is this Mr. McCar Melissa McCarthy is that and I was like come on Tammy was uh Tammy wasn't uh was just one bad movie in my opinion so well in everyone's opinion but people are like oh I'm done with Melissa McCarthy after Tammy came out which you shouldn't be it's just one it's it's like hating Adam Sandler after doing Jack and Jill and Grown Ups 2, and yeah, okay, you have reasons to hate Adam Sandler, I guess.